1.5S battery charger. So 15 amp and it's going to charge our 200 amp megalite battery. So it's pink. So I'll show you that when we get back home. Hey, how's it going everybody? We are here today. Check out the hurricane. She's looking swanking hot as Rob would say. <laughs> So we're going to show you the new C-Tech Pro 1.5S that we just bought, battery charger. Charge up our 200 amp hour lithium mega life battery, right? So this can also charge a lead acid battery or an AGM. So, but at this point we're going we're gonna to use it to charge the 200 amp hour uh, mega life battery. So recently went camping. We are currently with this fantastic app we can see that we're sitting at 60%. Now these things are not meant to, not recommended to go below 20% at any one time, but we can charge that back up to 100%, right? So, gonna run you through it. So, basically, we have our box over here. What I was just gonna show you what that looks like. So first up, we literally plugged in the uh, CTEC Pro 15S to the power point inside in my Sherry's garage. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna come down here to the actual kit itself. And we're gonna flick the mode over from normal to now correspond with lithium, right? Then we're gonna take our, obviously our corresponding color, negative to positive, and we're gonna apply it to the lithium battery. Now these do not spark apparently. I've watched a video on it. Normally when you do this, they zap and they cause a spark. These don't do that apparently. So I'm gonna put negative on first like so and positive on this side and if you come back down here Roto, you'll see this will run you through it's like an eight step process that it actually goes through and this will let you know where it's at at any given time so you just keep an eye on it and as it goes up we'll, we'll let you know and then we'll also be able to follow it through this because the app will tell us where it's actually sitting as it goes up yeah so it can charge uh 20 to 350 amp acid and then for your lithium 20 to 300 amp yeah that's for your normal agm batteries and your yeah. lead acid and then 20 to 300 amp hours for your lithium so it is saying that it's a professional workshop charging and power supply so i'm really thinking this is going to be a really good fitted kit yeah so uh yeah and we got it from revco and what did you tell me earlier about C-Tech and who... Oh, yeah. So C-Tech so, uh, are standard, come standard with your cars like your... Lamborghinis. Yep. Um, uh, Mercedes, yeah. Ferrari, yeah. Bentley, so Rolls-Royce. It's a really good brand. Yep. Yeah. And they have them officially, like, instead of having... It has C-Tech, but then it has, like, Bentley or whatever yeah. car company it Correct. is on... I had it written on the... Had it written on there. Kit. Yep. So I can I can hear that. Yeah, I can hear that now. now. So it's, I think it analyzes at the start before it starts charging. Correct. So when we were away, we had this basically running for running a king's fridge in thirty four degree heat. Yeah, it was very hot. Yep. For it was three days, wasn't it? Straight, yep. and and it was just a little king's fifteen amp fridge. So we just basically pick pick this pick the mega life up by the handles. Took it up to the campsite and we took all our food that we, so we had fridge in the hurricane and we had the 80 out there as well. And then we took our food from, got the Anderson plug on the side yeah, got the Anderson the plug there that um, <clears throat> everything battery in your poon put on for us. And then we basically took it up to the campsite using these handles and we sat it up there next to the stove and all the tables where we had our camp set up, plugged the fridge in three days away that we just left, we just used the little King's fridge because we knew that was the one that pulled the most to test this battery out and comfortably done three days and only took this down to 60%. Yep. And we were chucking a lot of warm drinks in it, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. Like different wines oh, and <laughs> food and yeah, yeah, water, a lot of water. We're drinking a lot of water up there. So we ended up putting a lot of water into it and yeah, it was just an awesome setup. So yeah, we can hear that C-Tech charging away there now. So it also says that's insulated, so IP44 for outdoor use as well. So that's a good thing. To yeah. Manage. Yep. Two year warranty. Yeah, two year warranty. And we got it was on special from Repco with twenty percent off. So it made a lot of difference. I think it was eighty eight dollars. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we we were told um, to get one of these by our auto electrician Matt from um, 
or a CQ Autolec. He recommended these C-Tech chargers and obviously they're used all over the world. Yeah, but anyhow, we'll get it all charged up and let you know how it goes. I'll just read you this one. It says it charges and maintains lead acid and lithium batteries from a 20 amp hour up to 350 amp hour and then the 20 to 300 for the lithium. It's a, got a supply program on there. It's got a built-in temperature sensor, food conditioning program, and also, like I said, insulated for outdoor use. So that's really cool. And it's gonna be a, a uh, Handy bit of kit. Yeah. yeah, so we could basically, what we do with this battery is, we've already got a Megalife dual battery in the Hurricane, but we've been, we can take this battery now, uh, put it, it normally sits just between the Ingle and the and the um, Cruiser console. But then, like last week, I was in Sherry's um, Cruiser, so I could quite easily grab this, put it in the back. You can lay it down because it's lithium. Uh, lay it down. We've got the um, off-road down under um, slimline case, and that is amazing as well. So that's all strapped in. So we just picked yeah, this battery so we have up. That specially made. Yeah. So, yeah, so everything cool. battery in your poon <laughs> ordered that, and yeah. So that now we can just take it from one place to another. The only thing we're going to do, we've only got an Anderson plug because we just got it set up quickly for Christmas. I was talking to everything battery to Ryan there, and he is going to put on a little USB port for us on that end so that we can run charge phones. But that's got to have an inline fuse in it. He's going to fix that up for us. But we yep. got this right before Christmas, so we basically had to throw it into the car. So it's 1.22 p.m. here in Queensland. So we'll yep. see how long this is actually going to take. Yep. It'll be interesting because it's got 40% charge, hasn't it? Uh, 60% charge at the moment, no, yeah. 40% too charge. Oh, yeah, 40% too charge, correct. Yep. Yeah, so as I explained earlier, or we explained earlier, it's an eight-step process. So it's currently in stage one. So I'm probably gonna make this a two part video. Uh, so the first thing that does, it goes accept, test that the battery can accept charge. This step prevents that charging proceeds with a, with a defect battery. And then it goes bulk, the main step with maximum current where most of the charge is returned. Charging proceeds with the almost constant current. Then it goes to an absorption ready to use, a step with almost constant voltage during the step, the battery gets completely charged. Then it analyzes it, a short intermission in the cycle to analyze the voltage drop. The voltage of the defective battery will quickly drop and the charge cycle will be stopped with a warning indication. Maximization, final charge with maximum voltage up to 100% battery capacity. Then it goes into a float, fully charged maintenance. Charge, keeping the batteries at 100% charge. I think that's when you want to triple charge it, to be honest, do you think? Yeah, that's that's basically normal, on a normal battery charger. It stays in that float stage, mm. but what the SeaTech does is it goes in that float stage, and then after that, on its final stage, it's called a pulse stage. Yeah. Maintenance charge for maximum yep. battery life, keeping the batteries fresh for months. Yep. This is achieved by starting a new charge cycle when the voltage drops to a set limit. So what that does is after it's gone through its float stage, like a normal battery charger would, it basically stops charging the battery and just pulses it to keep it running. So you could have this charger set up to your, uh, hooked up to the Hurricane or the Lexus or the 80 if we weren't using them or your Harley or whatever you've got sitting out in the shed and just leave it, you could leave it hooked up all the time. Jay Leno has what, 200 of them or something, doesn't he? Yeah. Because he's got 200 cars, yeah. but obviously he wouldn't have one probably as big as this. He's, you can get smaller ones. Um, we went to the next one, didn't we? Because it was on special yeah. and we saved the 80 bucks. And yeah. yeah, we were looking at getting an eight amp. We ended up getting this 15 amp, which is probably a bit of an overkill, but we just thought, you know, with a big 200 amp hour battery, mega life battery, it was a lot better to do that. So do you know if this, this can charge that lithium battery? But if it, yes. that's got a BMS, right? Yep, but it can still hook up. Uh, yeah, it's, that's got a battery management system in yeah. it, but you can still hook that up and it does what it's doing now. So it goes through that test cycle. And if not, if the battery can't take the charge, it won't charge it at all. Right. So that's why it's got that uh, eight step charging process. Yeah. All, all right. right. We're going to leave it there because we don't know how long it's actually going to take. We're assuming it's going to take a little while. So we'll come back with a part two and let you know actually how long it took. Yeah. We'll awesome. Too easy. Thanks, everybody. Peace, everybody. Peace. Chowdy bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>